sideline reporter, Doris Burke. So glad you could join us on this wonderful Saturday night. Now let's check out the State Farm starting lineups. And then we'll be keeping up. spoke with head coach Eric Smolson. And what'd you find out, Doris? Yes, Kevin, and he didn't outright say that he didn't worry about defense here, but it was all about offense for them this game. He said numbers one, two, and three on our list are getting good looks, good movement, and hitting shots. That's all there is to it. Let's see if their approach works. Yeah, thanks for filling us in, Doris, and not too surprising that their offensive approach will be a major focus. Yeah, that's what I would expect, Kevin. I mean, this is a team that really hangs its hat of execution. But guys, that can't be the sole focus. They can't forget to defend. Brown, good. You know, Coach Alvin Gentry has done a nice job in Phoenix maintaining that high scoring style that they've established over the last decade. He's also made them and kept them respectable defensively. Run, gets the Jones. Back to LeBron. Gets it to Hill. Six, back to LeBron. Good. And Steve, before Alvin Gentry took over, the Suns toyed with the slower pace, but he got them back to running, and he's uh, not the bad. Yeah, Gentry did an amazing job uh, in Phoenix uh, when he took over as head coach, and uh, that's why he's still there. He, he really gained the trust of the players right away. He got back to that style that's uh, really most conducive to that talent. And, uh, you know, now it's going to be interesting with, without Nash. Gentry's biggest challenge now, not being able to, to rely on one of the great point guards of all time. That's how you exploit that defense. Take the ball right to the basket. Raise up the pick. Up top, Frogich. Defended by Chalmers. Here's Brown. Oh, Bouncability. I can't think of any other way to put it. Yeah, you would think he needs help to get up that high. It does seem unreal, doesn't it? I mean, that's just his natural ability, though, guys. And bounceability. <laughs> <laughs> and that last replay, courtesy of Sprite. Well, it's been a high scoring competitive game through the first quarter of play. Heat lead by two. The second quarter coming up. 2K Sports Magazine. The latest issue is. And we got a close game here as we get back to the second quarter. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Heat? Yeah, they're really keying in on getting as many good shots inside the lane as possible. And they're doing a nice job of not just settling for outside looks. Yep, I agree. I mean, they're working it inside and doing it with intensity and purpose. Beasley and Stroll, they're the focus. Rogic is out there with Johnson, and it's Wurtzak in at center. Which is out there for Phoenix. You know, with the condensed and shortened season last year, teams only played out of conference a total of 18 times. And the Suns actually did pretty good with that portion of the schedule, going 10-8 and eight overall in those games. Here's Hill. So good on the triple. Suns trail by four. Here's Johnson. Here's Stroll, and it's blocked. Johnson against Hill. He takes it to Wade. Here's the dish to box. It's off his foot. And the ref's whistling a kick ball. This is Kicks the Morris. And then Penn had come. I'll tell you what, it was a good pick that was set that turned him loose. And once he got around it, Steve, it was smooth sailing right to the hole. Well, because of the pick, he had plenty of room. That's why he was able to power down that slip. And Doris Burke has some force. Hey, Doris. Thanks, guys. Mr. Clutch in their last game against the Nuggets was a major factor. He ended with 25 points and was just on point from deep sinking what seemed to be an endless stream of threes. Let's see, Kevin. And Doris.
Moore is obviously helping their cause, you know, Clark, in a huge way. It was good to come off a game like that, but I always say, each game, you got to treat as an individual catch. In and of itself. Go out and start fresh and don't rely to get your past performance. Yeah, but you can use that performance card for, uh, for confidence and just for uh, your overall makeup as a player, how you feel about yourself going into the next one. So there can be some carryover effect. Great job from behind the arc this court. I mean, shooting just under 60% for the game. I mean, that's smoke. Well, I get you fixed it up. Top fly. Brown on top. Over the field. And there's Brown. That's going to be assist from Shannon Fry. 15 points to Shannon Brown. It's been a great day for him from the field, but his team is still trailing. Hill, he's covered by Brown. And Shannon Brown gets up the foul. That's his first foul. And the Suns here with a different look. Gortat's checked in for Fry. Scrolla comes in for Marky Morris. Michael Beast, he's checked in for Jared Dublin. And Wesley Johnson is sub for Shannon Brown. Laid also changing it up. Juan Howard's checked in for Hazel. And Shane Battier sub in for Ray Allen. 56 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Here's Cole. LeBron with the basket, the assist from Cole. And that's now six points for LeBron. Rockets dishes to Johnson. He dishes it to Beasley. Woke loose. Now it's Gaudier running. He can go all the way. The one-handed flush. Very nice. A nice strong finish there. Ooh, punched it home. Rockets picks to Johnson. And there's a whistle that goes on Mr. Clutch. And so we conclude the first half. It's the Heat, up by nine. 2K Sports, back in a moment here from the U.S. Airways Center. Now, presented by Sprint. The fun has begun on this Saturday night, and we're ready to look back at all the first half action. Start up and begin any moment. <laughs> Back to O'Neill. He feeds it to Brown. Upside Brown. Guys, he's been a go-to guy for him. Press is going to continue to build on them the longer they're in this hole. So with Wade on the bench, this is who Eric Spolster has on the floor. Hill, he's in a shooting line. Chris Bosch is out there with Shane Battier, and it's LeBron James, and it's Chalmers in at the one spot. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Doubled by Bosch. Brown outside. Over Hill, and it's blocked. They have a nice lead here, and they've really controlled the glass for the majority of the game. Oh, 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 what a throw down there. Oh, man. We see more and more point guards with that kind of impressive dunking ability, don't we? We absolutely we're seeing more and more of that kind of explosiveness. In fact, the point guard now has never been as prominent and as important, I think, in the game than it is right now. I agree. Some of that is the rule changes, guys. No hand checks. The floor is more spread. But yeah, this new breed of athletic point guards is so exciting. Special thanks to Sprite for that sweet replay. Let's check out what Doris Burke has for us. Guys, the last collective bargaining agreement gave teams the right to amnesty the contract of one player. And this offseason, we saw the other shoe drop. A number of high-caliber players were amnestied by their teams, including power forward Luis Scola, who was let go by Houston. In the old days, an amnesty player was signed with 29 other teams. But now, through the amnesty auction process, there's a bidding, and that's how the Suns brought him in. And guys, alongside Gortat on that front line, the Suns certainly have some scoring and toughness inside. They 
become a terrific team. Thanks, boys. All business there, not messing around one bit. Busted right with one aim. He never does, Clark. He never does. <laughs> well, that's kind of his trademark, those slams like that one. Off his leg, and the official saying it was kicked. Both teams changing it up here. Seconds left to play in the third. Five on the clock. LeBron tries to. Oh, oh, no. oh, man, that was a real hard to go. Nasty, nasty. Whoa. <laughs> and that look right there on Clark says it all. <laughs> Not alone, Kevin. Man, that was just mean right there. Oh, Rogich with it. It's picked up by Hill. To the middle. Here's Tucker. It's stolen by Jones. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Miller, the pass to Hill. And a great assist by Miller as that one goes in. Hill's got 17. So for the Heat, the last game a loss to the Nuggets in Denver. Yeah, Kevin, when you don't take advantage of your trips to the free throw line, which they definitely did not, it's tough to recover from. Yeah, it sure is. I mean, they left a lot of cheese and lettuce at that fire line. <laughs> Good. Been a little too easy for them inside, hasn't it? 
Yeah, I think so, Steve. I mean, they've really dictated the action in the paint. Uh, that's been their focus, and the defense hasn't mounted much resistance at all. The feet, the Brown, all sorts of time. Can't get it to go. And Miami the other way now. Bob's the alley -oop pass. A foolish finish on the alley -oop. And the Heat lead by 10. Well, that was well read to know exactly where that pass was going. Yeah, especially on the lob pass, the position has to be perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as easy a two points as you're going to get on the soft alley-oop. That was nice. And the basket by Scola. That jump shot's like a layup for him when the defense backs off like that. Right side hill. For the three. It's hauled in by the Suns. Side Hill. Back to LeBron. Outside Hill. Shot clock at six. Over Clutch. Clutch pushes to LeBron. That he is. He's moving the ball around. Hill kicks to LeBron. It's back to Hill. For three, and the basket good. I think we can chalk this one up. The goal now is just to run some time. Yeah, I think it's time to get the bus started now, boys. Johnson, the pass to Brock. Sinks the three-pointer. How much do you love to see the big fella knocking down that three there, guys? And so it's Miami winning this one. Yeah, I think so. They were just state night sharks. Very on top of their game here. Well said. Thank you for joining us for this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark, Stephen Doris, and the rest of the crew, this is Kevin Allen saying thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Last but not least, here is your Jordan player of the game, Mr. Clark.